Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Figma to Android Studio and 2023. Figma is a popular design tool used by many designers and developers to create user interfaces. By integrating Figma with Android Studio, you can streamline your design to development workflow and easily transfer your design into code. So in this tutorial, we'll walk like you through the steps of connecting Figma to your Android Studio. So let's just dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's just start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open your browser, you can simply go to the URL section, simply type figma.com and hit this enter button. So this will take you normally to the home screen or main screen of Figma account. And if you have an account, you can simply go and log in into it. But if you don't have an account, click on uh, get started or register and create your account. Once you click on it, uh, you'll have to follow the instructions and enter your credentials. Then you'll have normally your account here. Once you do so, you'll normally find yourself on a dashboard like this. And here you'll be able to start uh, doing your design. And of course, you'll have to install the Figma plugin for Android Studio. So the first step is to install the Figma plugin for Android Studios. So you can simply go and open app on your PC. If you don't have it, you can simply go and open a new tab. Go here and type like Android Studios and hit the enter button. Go and click on that. And then you can click on the first link, then click on and download this. So make sure to go and read all the terms and conditions so you are aware of everything. And you will not have any problem with them in the future. Once you read all this, click on I have read and agree with the above terms and conditions and click on download Android Studio. Once you do so, of course, you'll have to go and download this in your PC. And once it downloaded, you'll have to install it up. So we'll wait until the download finish and we'll install it and we'll have to open it up in our PC. And meanwhile, of course, we can simply go into Figma and create the design that we want. So as an example, I'm just going to click on a new design here. And of course, you'll have to go and do your design. And of course, if you don't want to do a design example, you'll find something in the library, of course, like if you want like a design already made by other people, you can explore like the community. If you want to for inspiration, for the design that's already made, for a lot of other things. Some of them, you'll find them even free to get and you'll be able to get them. And of course, once you get the design that you want, you'll be able to go and connect it to your Android Studios without any problem so of course you can simply go and click as i said on design files make your design here so as you can see you'll find like a lot of options to design depending on whatever you suit you and of course you will be able to do everything so depending on whatever suits you you'll be able to add everything so let's just pretend that i actually have here a lot of designs so let's just say that i will connect one of those designs or one of those figmas to my android sorry and meanwhile of course i guess it will be downloaded soon so if you just download this of course you can simply go and show downloaded so it's still not downloaded why not i don't know but it's normally take like two or five seconds should not take that that's a lot of time so let's just wait it should not take a lot of time and as you can see now it's done so so here we are, you can simply go and open it up. And here, uh, once we click on it, we'll normally find this right here. So here is it, go and open it up. And so here is it, it's actually downloading at the moment for installing. So we'll have to simply wait it up. And as you can see, we'll have to go and accept those, click on yes, yes. And here, as you can see, click on next, next and next and simply install so we'll have to wait until it's installed and we'll be back so once it's completed as you can see click on next and make sure to check this button which will start this android studio and click on finish i just close this at the moment and if you want to import settings as you can see from like a directory you'll be able to so for me i'll not import this from anything so i'll just uh, click on this and you can send like the user statistics to Google, which will help them improve the app. But I'm not going to. And welcome to this wizard. So simply click on next, standard. And um, I want it on dark mode. And click on next, click on next again. And 
make sure to go and accept those terms and conditions and simply you'll have of course to read them all before accepting anything and of course you'll have to accept them all of them and then click on finish so they will download those things then we'll be back and of course in the meanwhile so let me just go you through the strip so once it's opened we'll have to simply go and install the figma plugin for the android studio then we'll have to go back and obtain the figma api access token so to connect figma to android studio you'll need to obtain api access token to figma you can simply go to figma website and log in once you're logged in into your account you'll have to navigate into the settings go to your account at the top right corner here and go to the settings once you do so, of course, you will have to go to developer settings to generate an API access token. So simply you'll have to scroll down and you find this generate a new token. So as you can see, uh, let's just go back. Then of course you will uh, have the option, uh, once you copy this token, you'll have the option to configure the Figma plugins in Android Studio and, and then import your Figma designs in, in, into Android Studio. Then select the Figma file and layers, convert, convert the Figma designs to, H, uh, to XML code. And of course you'll be able to like customize and fine tune and you'll be able to do a lot of other stuff. So we will not wait for all those downloads. It's pretty simple. You'll have to simply go and install the plugin, as I said before. So once it's opened, of course, you'll have to go to, uh, once you open your Android Studio, go to preferences or settings, depending on your operating system, then navigate into the plugins or extensions section and search for the Figma plugin. Click on install and add the plugin on your Android Studio. Then simply you'll be able to paste the API token or access token that you get from Figma right here. Once you do so, you'll be able to configure your Figma plugin, as I said in Android Studio, and import your old designs and convert your Figma design into your XML code and select the Figma files and layers. And as I said, you'll be able to use the XML code in Android Studio however you want. So the converted XML video could be generated or and displayed into Android Studio. You can now copy it and paste it uh wherever you want and of course you'll be able to customize even the fine and tool so once your figma designs are imported in android studio you can uh, uh, further customize and fine tune them to match your apps requirements modify the xml code as needed and additional any additional functionality should be added and make any necessary adjustments to ensure the design align with your app user interface and of course if you reach this point of this video congratulations You've successfully connected Figma to Android Studio in 2023. By integrating these powerful tools, you can seamlessly transfer your design into code and streamline your design to development workflow. Remember to keep your Figma design and Android Studio projects and synchronize them as you make updates and interaction or iteration so thank you for watching and happy designing developments with figma and android studio and of course if you like this video make sure to make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one and i'll see you in the next video